Hi guys, today I am in front of TJ Maxx and I'm going to be showing you how to give your bathroom a refresh. Spring is around the corner and I want to just show you how easy and quick it is to just accessorize and give it kind of a little facelift. So come along with me and I'm going to show you what options we can explore in here. Always check out the clearance section first because you can find some cute things that are discounted. So let me show you for example. So we've got some Christmas stuff that we don't need and we've got just some random artifacts here. But really what I'm interested in is shower curtains because changing your shower curtain is a really quick and easy way to really change the look of your bathroom. And this one I really like. It's $12, but I think it's a little bit too overwhelming, too blue for my palette in my bathroom. And this one is a pretty like gray one, but it's got a little bit of a stain. So I'm gonna pass on that one. But here is one I actually found that I really like, and I don't care that it, the packaging is all broken um, as long as it looks pretty new and not used and not stained. And this guy looks really pretty with the two-tone, with the white and the blue, and it is $10. So that could be a winner. I'm going to look around and see what else I can complement to my shower curtain. Okay, so I'm seeing here that there are a lot of like blues and gray tones and that's going to probably work well with the shower curtain but it's a matter of narrowing down the pattern so something like this I think it's going to be a little bit too busy for the look that I want to achieve um, let's see this is a little bit lighter but it kind of looks like it would go more like in a bedroom than in a bathroom for my style um this is a unique look and i like that but it might be a little too big this is really big i'm just looking for something for like kind of the size of a bath mat a little bit bigger than that oh i think i found a winner you guys look at this i love the texture i love the colors it will it has a little bit of blue and the white it's still a, a pattern that i like because i do want pattern um but it's not overwhelming and it's a little bit kind of rustic which i like so i am going to take this area rug and it's actually 16.99 so you're not having to spend a whole lot of money to make a significant change that's noticeable in your bathroom so i'm excited about how this look is coming together let's see what else we can add to it let's talk towels towels is a great way to really change up the atmosphere and the palette and it's also a functional way because you can keep them and use them and incorporate them into your daily household routine and i love using towels to contrast the look so let's see what options we have here so i'm looking here and i already see things that catch my eye for example i really like this look it's really like a pretty subtle pattern with kind of like a farmhouse vibe to it but again, we wanna create contrast, so I'm gonna skip over that. And let's see what else. We have a lot of colors here. And look at this really pretty hand towel. I like things that are unique, and I love the little butterflies. This would look so great in a bathroom or in a guest bathroom, but it's not gonna go with the pattern I have already. You don't wanna to go too out of range with the scheme you have. Uh, let's see. So I'm looking for something a little bit more in the reddish hue. There aren't really any reddish or burgundy towels here, but this coral is looking really attractive. I think this would go really pretty with the grays and the pastels that I have, and I like the design on it. And let's see how much this guy costs. So this is $7.99 for one towel. You can even get just one to make a statement, or you can get two, but this is gonna work. So we're gonna add this to our already existing items and you can already see how things start looking together. I can even add a hand towel if I wanna keep things matching, but you really don't have to do that. Um, this is two for $12.99. So I think I will get these 
You can never have too many hand towels because my kids get them so dirty. And let's see, here is another gray, but that is a little bit too solid. Um, what about these? These are really pretty. Again, it's a subtle look. But another thing you can do when you find a couple of hand towels that you like is you can roll them up and put them in a little basket on your vanity or on your countertop. So you can have different colors of towels throughout your space. So I think I'm gonna take these two. These are two for $12.99. So at $6 a towel, it's not too bad. Again, it's something you can use for a long time. Now I'm in the basket section because I want to look for just the right little basket to put in some hand towels as a decorative statement on my vanity. So I'm looking here for something small with an earthy vibe. Um, oh, I really like this one. This one really catches my eye because of the cane backing and just how small it is. I think it's a perfect size and it's $5.99. So this is going to work. I like changing up the soap dispensers from time to time because it's a functional and decorative way to really enhance the look. And there are a lot of nice options here. So let me see what they have. I really like this one. That's kind of cool with that gray texture. Um, but let's see, I'm looking for something. Oh, that's really nice too. Something that would have kind of an earth, earthy or natural vibe to it. Oh, like this. I think this is going to work. I really like the wooden top and that is $12.99. I think I might be able to stretch on that one too. So you can use something around the house to add additional accessories, but I might actually splurge in the budget and allow myself one decorative item as an accessory. So let's see what they have here. I really like vases because you can put either full flowers or real flowers to really freshen up a bathroom. Let's see what else they have. I really like this little guy. That could really look pretty on the countertop just as a pretty decor item. That is $10. What else do they have? They have this little elephant and I really like this guy. Let me see if you can put, you can even put a little candle in there. Huh. Look at these beautiful Mexican vases. They're like kind of like a painted terracotta. Really like that texture. Yep, it's a terracotta in there. Uh, these are $14.99. So I'm trying to debate whether I want to spend that much money. You could even couple up and do a couple of these on your countertop and that would really look stunning. Look at this really pretty base. Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna think about what is gonna be the right final accessory for my bathroom. I think I've made my decision. I really like this pretty lady with this kind of textured wood finish. She is $14.99. So that's a little bit of a splurge for our low budget renovation but we are saving in other areas, like on the clearance curtain. And I might do a vase as well. Maybe this one, or maybe something like this. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. I'm back in the towel section for one final change, you guys. I decided to look at my color schemes and this one that I was going to get, I'm going to leave. I think it's a little too nautical for um, the look I want. And I really like this, how this looks, this coral with this little basket and how it also makes things a little moodier with the warm browns. So sometimes you have to make a quick shift when you look at all your items together. Okay, so let's go home and put our new look together. I'm so excited to get into decorating. Okay, so now we are in the bathroom that we're going to transform. We're going to give it a fresh new look. And what I have done is I have cleared everything out. So I have a blank canvas to work with. The only thing I have done is I have hung my new curtain. So let me show you what it looks like before. As you can tell, my palette is very calm, muted. I have a little bit of a 
light gray blue. I have white countertops. My mirror is pretty white with hints of blue. And I have this pop of a medicine cabinet, which looks like a picture frame, but as you can see, it's actually a medicine cabinet that we built. And we have white doors. And here we have, it's hard to see, here we have our new shower curtain. So the bottom is blue and the white is like a linen white material, which I really like. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start creating layers and I'm going to use textiles. You want to use fabrics, anything with texture to start creating dimension in your space. And of course you can bring in color. So I'm going to start with my beautiful new bath towel, the coral with the texture pattern towel that we got at the store today and come on in. I'm going to show you how that combines with the wall. So as you can see, my wall is like a, a light sage color. And always think about how you can leverage your palette to really make beautiful color combinations. So I really like the way the coral is going to subtly contrast with the sage. Take a look. See how pretty that looks? I love that. Now we're going to do the same thing with the matching hand towel. And this coral is going to be the theme throughout the space. This is a moody color that I have picked to kind of elevate and contrast the color scheme in the bathroom. So I'm going to just hang this here on this hook and drape it down. And that's already playing with the colors on the picture frame. So you really want to pull and tie colors in throughout your space. I really like the way that looks. Let's keep going. Next, I'm going to bring in this beautiful little basket that I got for $5.99. It has this cane backing, which I love because it kind of just makes things a little bit less formal, a little bit more country and a little bit more rustic. And I love the way it combines here in the corner with the quartzite countertop. So you can have combinations of both modern and a little bit more traditional or a little bit more elegant and a little bit more rustic. You can also play with that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with the remainder of our hand towels. So I'm basically going to just take these and you can play with your towels and how the texture patterns look on there. I'm going to try to leave this, these little fuzzy ends exposed because I like that. I'm going to roll them up and just position them like that. And I'm going to take the next one and you can um, put other things in there, make it more functional. You can put soap, you can put any toiletries that you keep in your bathroom. But I really like how that looks. See how pretty that looks? So we have a lot of tones here and that's all starting to come together. Let's see what else we have. Now I'm going to set up my soap dispenser, which we got, which I also love because it has kind of those earth browns. So it has a natural vibe to it along with the white. So it's another contrast that mimics the contrasts that are existing in the space. And I also found this little shell that I had in one of my drawers and look how it's all going to come together with the color palette. So we're going to set the soap dispenser here and the little shell and already that flows so nicely. I really like that. So I always love bringing nature indoors. That's a common theme in all my home decor tutorials. This time I took some cuttings from this really pretty kind of whimsical plant we have. I'm going to get the name of it and put it in the video description because I can't remember, but it has kind of these, let me show you. It has these really pretty kind of like hanging blooms and I put it in the new vase that we got and look how magical that looks. So let's set this up on the counter. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right there in the corner and look how fabulous that looks. And now I'm gonna bring in our wooden lady and we're gonna sit her next to the vase and see how that pairs. So she can be kind of under the blooms here. Just play around with the position of everything in your space until you get it just like you like it. I might adjust this a little bit to go up like that so that it's not so overpowering. So we can give her a little bit of the limelight. Yeah, that looks really good. 
And finally, we're going to put in our new area rug. And if you're afraid in the bathroom that you can slip, just put one of those non-stick mats underneath. But look at what a wonderful final touch this is going to add to the space. I really like how that combines with the new curtain. Look at the pattern and the colors. It looks really cool. And you can always add a cute little stool next to your bathtub in case you want to put little candles or whatever you want next to your bathtub when you're having a bath. So what did you think of this bathroom refresh? So this cost me just about $100. You could even go less with that using things around the house, but really I think it's a budget-friendly way to really give a new look to a space. When you are craving something fresh, new, or maybe for the season, just go to one of these stores or shop online and put something together. It's really fun and it'll make you feel so much better walking into a whole new space. Now I will show you the final reveal and be sure to subscribe and join the creative journey.